Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And now I'm Julia. And oh no, I'm morphing. Ew. Whoa. Can you do this somewhere else? We're kind of in the middle of something. Oh my no, God. I have Jacob's... to do it publicly. <laughs> morphing well, right now. What if you just pause here in the middle of your morph? <laughs> yeah. Can, oh. You... Oh. Oh, yeah. Can, yeah. can we just yeah, can we just stop? Yeah. I, I stopped. Can you hold it? Yeah, this is- So you're in the middle of your morph? I'm in the middle. This is me now. Wow. It, isn't this funny? <laughs> it, it does look kind of funny. <laughs> you're making me uncomfortable, but it is a little chuckle worthy. Were you Were you morphing into some sort of like a like a muskrat? Was... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was morphing into a muskrat. It was like a muskrat, Jacob. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I got interrupted. It's kind of cute. Now I'm dying. Oh, man. I must oh. rat you to turn back so I don't have to look at you anymore. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. I unmorphed. Wow. Thank you. I said before we started recording, has did everybody get all their morphing done? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had, but then as soon as we yeah. got going, I realized I had one more in Sounds me. like one of us lied. <laughs> Thankfully, it's super relevant to what we're doing in this episode. <laughs> so it actually well, worked out. Great. You're just saying that to save yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this one has like some layers here. It came from the Drawfee Patreon Discord, which you can also join if you subscribe to our Patreon. Oh, the post was from Alice Cold, but they said credit to Britney Spiel, but the credit was to a tweet from Adam P. Nave with an image from someone else <laughs> that I don't wow. know where the image came from. A real, it takes a village. To yeah, come it up takes with a, a village. Suggestion. <laughs> the beautiful. image is of Sailor Moon anamorphing into Garfield. It's a good image. And the suggestion is draw mid anamorph transformations between two fictional characters. Yeah. And so that's what we're going to do. I've gotten some set up for you here in your PSD, a left character folder and a right character folder. A personalized folder. PSD. Yeah, it wow. stands for personal special document. <gasps> All you right. Each get one. And I'm going to roll random numbers, and you're going to have to do the middle morph between the two characters. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare, and I'm so excited. Nathan, would you like to go first? I would love to go first, please. Okay. Your left character mm -hmm. is number five. Number five. Number five. It's oh Donald. God. Quack. What's going on with Donald's arm? It's behind his back, I oh, think. That's his elbow. <laughs> He's doing like a like a fancy behind the back sort of. When Look you really don't want to draw the hand. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, please transform Donald Duck into number three. Number if you three. would be so kind. Oh, oh Edna. Ida. Ida. <laughs> I was close. Good old Edna from the Owl <laughs> House. <laughs> Edna. Oh. <laughs> no, it's wow. Ida, the Owl Lady, and I, I think it's pretty obvious, you know, how it's gonna go to transform these two. So she's already kind of a bird lady. Yeah. Yeah. So and and a duck is like a bird. Yeah, a duck is like a bird. Very similar. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we can. Yeah. They're basically already the same. They're basically the. This is too. This is going to be too easy. <laughs> it's Jacob. the same picture. It's the same. These are pretty much the same character. They do refuse to look at each other, though. Yeah, they can't. They cannot look at each other. <laughs> yeah. They will recognize themselves in each other's eyes and go insane. So I think we're still going to have like traces of beak. I guess. I think that's only right. Essence of beak. But then she's got like her nose sort of emerging. And then maybe it's just going to be sort of like this. Like the in-between of beak and lip. What if she's doing like the old like duck mouth thing that people used to do in photos? <laughs> she, oh, she took it too so literally. She's doing like with, with her, it's lips. Yeah. So it's sort of like a... Mm. <laughs> or she's got two Pringles chips. No. Oh, it's God. it's blips, beak lips. <laughs> it's the middle morph between these two images of them, right? Because that's like yeah. the anamorph cover <laughs> convention. Correct. 
So it's going from open mouth to closed mouth. So I guess the mouth should be a little open still if it's right in the middle. You know, I did realize that, you know, in keeping with those rules, you're going to get a JoJo hair hat. Hair hat. Oh, hair hat. Let's go. I hate it all. It's really scary. <laughs> this is, it's this is giving bad. me Howard the Duck live action. Oh, it is kind of a Howard the Duck live action. It's giving me trauma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Karina's God. new hit single. It's giving me trauma. <laughs> this, is, this is so bad. This is a bad thing that I'm. Oh, man. Keep okay. going. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we were going to have like hat, sort of this hat shape, but it's it's going to be hair. Hat become hair. Hat become <laughs> hair. This is so messed up. Uh, it's so early on to be doing crimes i love a good nathan crime we don't get them enough they're special hold them in your heart and be thankful be thankful you have to really force nathan into a position where he must commit a crime yeah because he won't do it naturally you have to give him no other options I love this sausage coming out the side of her head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hair's in a sausage casing. That's the hat. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, what is a hat other than just a sausage casing for the top of your head? <laughs> God, you're so right is the thing. <laughs> That's fashion. That's fashion. That's what it is. You open the dictionary, you look at the definition for hat, sausage casing for head. Yeah. Simple as that. <laughs> Simple and clean. <laughs> this is so upsetting. Okay. The eyes need to be like a little bit taller, I think. Yeah, that'll, that was that'll that, do it. that'll do it. <laughs> 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 That'll make it less scary. More enthusiasm in the eyes. <laughs> oh, they look crazed now. <laughs> I feel like I'm at a convention and there's like someone signing autographs and I do not know who they are. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Wait, explain this. Did you ever see that that bit of like Sonic? It's like it was in some movie recently where there's old Sonic. Well, it's the ugly Sonic. Yeah, the ugly, ugly Sonic. Sonic. Yeah, yeah, in the but he's like older. Movie. That's I'm getting that vibe. So you think this is ugly Donald signing at a convention? I mean, I wasn't throwing judgment. Well, just following the naming convention of yeah. ugly Sonic. Why you got to say they're ugly, Jacob? I'm following the conventions what of the, the meme. Hmm, human teeth. No. One human tooth. No. One human tooth. I mean, if you look at Donald's little like inner mouth thing, it does look just like Ida's single tooth. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. So that's, tongue. Uh, that's where, yeah. So tongue it's, sort, tooth. Of, it's sort of moving over. Oh, the tongue become teeth. Tongue the become tongue tooth. Become tooth. That's illegal. And then she's got like this thing and he's got the little tie. So maybe it's like halfway between those so it's got like this thing but then these are little vestigial bow tie yeah, bits <laughs> she's staring right at me yeah, yeah she's looking at everyone i think it follows you put this up in the same room as the mona lisa <laughs> <laughs> right they're staring each other it. down <laughs> even though they're placed right next to each other <laughs> yeah <laughs> one of them will be dead come the morning <laughs> Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm getting like, I don't want to say mommy vibes because that's bad. I'm getting ma- maternal, maternal vibes from this drawing. It looks like a duck mother. A dother. A dother. Is this a dother? It could be. Oh, dother. May I have some more duck food? Oh, what when you duck-y. say it like, uh... <laughs> Cheese. Isn't like bread bad for the ducks? Yeah. yeah the bread's bad for yeah. the ducks. What do ducks eat? They like put their bills peas. down in the water and they go like blah, 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 blah. They do love peas. They I do love, love the video of the duck eating peas. I hope yeah. that is also not bad for the ducks. I wouldn't know any better. I'm going to Google it. But the video is good for me. Yeah. 
Because the ducks eat the peas faster than you would ever think possible. <laughs> they like Pains a finger. Good oh no. And fingernails. <laughs> so I yeah. Googled should ducks eat peas? And the first sentence Google said was feed them peas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I will. Okay, sorry. Okay. Jesus. All right, do we have any peas? It's like I woke up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. Like, <laughs> I have to feed them peas. I have to feed them peas. Well, a duck wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> first ever duck with a computer. <laughs> <laughs> but then the sentence that in it, that's in bold here is ducks love them just as much as what as bread i assume as bread oh as bread yeah well you heard it here folks feed them peas feed them peas <laughs> one of the questions that people also ask is why do ducks need peas <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> They're hungry. Just trust what Feed the duck them tells peas. you. <laughs> if the duck says it needs peas, give the duck peas. You don't need to ask questions. Yeah. Stop being nosy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't just ask that. Ugh. <laughs> it's not like I go to get a sandwich and the dude at the bodega is like, why do you need it? <laughs> he just gives me the sandwich. If if I went to a bodega and they asked me that about whatever I was buying, I would simply burst into tears. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I don't need 12 Little Debbies. I don't need it. I'll put it back. I don't need 12 Little Debbies and a chopped cheese. Nathan, this is so funny. She's grooving. <laughs> She's doing like a little dance. <laughs> yes. Oh, she grooving. Oh, maybe the tail is like the dress. Oh, flipping up. Genius. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> She's okay. really grooving. Our dother. <gasps> but then, okay, but then she does need to still have duck legs, I think. In yeah. boots. Duck legs with like he boot heels coming yeah. into them. Oh, that could be fashion. This is m me when I see the peas. Like a, <laughs> <laughs> like a stiletto that's shaped like a duck's foot. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I could see Lady Gaga wearing that. Yeah. Here's the thing about this pose that Nathan's drawing. Like, this is exactly the kind of moves that you do when you're listening to the, like, the DuckTales theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Like this little bounce. Yeah, she's just dancing to DuckTales. She's yeah. just grooving. Grooving. She grooving. Does the staff sort of like grow as part of the transformation. Yeah, it has to yeah. be small now. Oh, God. And it get big later. Yeah. 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 It's just, a, it's just a little owl. It's just a little owl. Just a little owl here. Maybe it's more duck-like to start. Quack. It looks like a diglet. <laughs> a little diglet. <laughs> to start, it's just a diglet. I love it. Damn, have you all seen the Mighty Ducks new mascot? <laughs> it's kind of disturbing. This is great. So this is the... Uh, I keep looking at the face. <laughs> I mean, We've all been looking at the face. Yeah. It's the duck mother. I think, I think this is perfect. I like it as a whole. We love our dother. We love our duck mommy. Our dommy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, you did a really good job of interpreting this. This is a yeah. hard challenge. Yeah, yeah, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> I, oof, I went, I went some places here. <laughs> Nathan <laughs> went silent because he was going on like a mental journey <laughs> while yeah. he was drawing this. His spirit was coming back. Yeah. yeah. After leaving his body, he went through an odyssey. <laughs> you know what that means? It's time for Karina to go on an odyssey. Let's wow. go. What could go wrong? Nothing. Okay, Karina. Yes. Are you ready for your first character? Give me a character, please. I would love it if you would do number two. Bulma. Oh, it's Bulma. Bulma. Oh, she's so cute. I love Dragon Ball Bulma. I think she's the cutest. Yeah. And also, Bulma will become number four. 
Oh. Zim. Oh. oh no. Oh. The Bulma to Zim pipeline. Bim. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> the Bulma to Zim pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows about it. It's oh, easy. God. Uh, why are they always facing opposite directions? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really consider that at the time, but on Animorphs covers, they don't care about that. They do that all the yeah. time. Yours are, their bodies are going the same way, but their heads are going different way. Mine, the heads were going the same way, but the bodies were yeah. going different yeah. ways. They have kind of similarly shaped heads. Yeah, they're sort of large yeah. heads. Yeah. If you just sharpen Bulma's head... Yeah. yeah. It's the same. Just kind of sharpen Bulma's head. Like you sharpen a knife. Yeah. With a whetstone. Because the way I see it, it just like does a turn. <laughs> so yeah. it's just, this is the one facing directly <laughs> the camera. <laughs> this is the middle. Oh, God. Looking um, at you like, it's a living. <laughs> I feel like this has potential to be cute. Yeah, but it also has potential to be bad is the problem. Doesn't everything. I'm really walking a line it's here. It's two kind of cute characters. But in very different yeah. styles. Yeah. Will the middle be cute also or horrible? <laughs> <laughs> well, that bad horrible. Oh, my God. The Maryland accent. The Maryland accent strong. come out. Here it goes again. I hope it's not bad. I hope it's not bad. I hope it's cute <laughs> so I can show my friends. <laughs> I want to share this with my friends. <laughs> I want to get more clothing with my name on it, like Bulma's little dress You do shirt. have one sweater that has your name on it. I do. <laughs> but like Bulma's got like, it looks like she has a whole fashion line. Designed yeah. just for her. True. Yeah. I guess Bulma is rich. Yeah. She's like a genius invented the damn capsule corp. She also could be named after the fashion line Bulma. So oh. you're, you're suggesting there exists a yeah, fashion there, line. Yeah, there was already yeah. the Bulma fashion line and her parents couldn't think of a name. And they were just like, well, what about, uh, and they saw someone wearing this exact outfit. It's like, what about Bulma? Yeah, they just saw yeah. a poster for it. <laughs> yeah. That's how I got my name. <laughs> That's why you always wear Karina brand clothes. Yeah. The, as far as I know the story, my dad saw just a random poster in an airport that had a singer named Karina on it. And he's like, I like that name. I like that name. I will take it. Yeah. <laughs> and now you have it. It's mine now. Mine now. My city now. My parents wanted to give me a French name that was still pronounceable, but for Americans. I'd say they nailed it. My yeah. parents like hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Originally, your name was Nathan's, and then you were Nathan's yeah. Yaffe. Yeah, my full name is Nathan's famous Yaffe. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan's famous Yaffe. <laughs> My parents originally were going to name me Zachary. Oh, my oh. God. Imagine. Can you imagine how fucked up that would have been? That would have been pretty fucked. I would not be here right now if my name was Zachary. Yeah. I don't know what Your I'd be doing. Your life would be completely different. Yeah. You'd be at a rodeo. I'd be at a rodeo, probably. <laughs> That's what that means. <laughs> Zachary goes to the rodeo. Jacob goes to Drawfee. Yeah. Zach Andrews stepping up. To the rodeo. <laughs> I'm, I'm the clown. <laughs> Damn. The rodeo clown. Zach Andrews really making a name for himself in the rodeo clown circuit. Rodeo clowning is valid. Yeah. I didn't say it was invalid. Yeah. It's a rough job. Rough? Rough. Yeah. You just got to get out there and confuse the bull long enough for the guy to run away and not get stepped on. Yeah, that's scary. They're the bravest among us. Yeah. <laughs> Just think you could have been brave. Oh Said you're a YouTube coward. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that operating a YouTube channel requires a certain type of bravery. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I have to put myself out there for the public to see. It requires vulnerability. Yeah, the public is basically like the bull. Yeah, in a rodeo. The, the bull of the internet. Every time we release a video, it's like us mounting a bull that is the internet. 
and trying not to get bucked off yeah. of the algorithm. Where's the lie? <laughs> I don't it's see the it. Sa- it's the same. It's the exact same thing. Bullen is is very <laughs> scary. Bullen? Bullen. Bullen. Is it called Bullen? B- Bulma and Zim. Oh, Bullen. I thought you were talking about... <laughs> yeah. I thought you were referring to we doing were rodeo. I was bringing it back to the drawing. I, I thought you were saying it was called Bullen. <laughs> yeah. Like I in. It's called riding a bull. You're Bullen. You're just Bullen. <laughs> Bullim. But Bullim I, I'm is trying. different. I hate this. <laughs> Yeah, you're not supposed to like it. It's the middle morph. It's still kind of cute. I love Bulma's design. I don't know that much about Bulma, but I do love her because everything I see about her is just the cutest and best. This ain't your mom's Bulma. I just want her to be cute because this is so cute. It looks like that's what she's thinking too. She's like, am I cute? Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Please think I'm cute. Yeah, she has kind of like the cringing mouth. <laughs> I don't have a choice on that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. She's watching a try not to cringe compilation. Yeah. Oh. Zim is bald. It's all just becoming a head. Can aliens um, be head. bald? If the whole alien species doesn't have hair, are any of them truly bald? Whoa. Whoa. Can you only be bald in comparison to others? Okay, but he's living in human society, so I'm allowed to call him bald. (laughs) But then also, you know, naked mole rats. Are there mole rats that aren't naked? So is that why they're called naked as opposed to bald? So would would Zim be naked? (gasps) But if you put a naked mole rat in clothes, is it still a naked mole rat? You can't change what it is. We're asking some hard-hitting questions today. That's That's a good question. Has anyone ever done that? I think that will give us the answer to if Zim is naked, even though he's wearing clothes. It sounds illegal to put a naked mole rat in clothes. I feel like if you tried to do that, it's against the law. You get in trouble. (laughs) (laughs) They freak out if you put them in clothes. Yeah. They have an identity crisis. Well, I've also Googled if you put a naked mole rat in clothes, is it naked? And the top result is something from the uh, Prindle Institute of uh, for ethics. For ethics, okay. 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 So it is. It is about ethics. Here, here's the thing that I'm reading. Okay. Naked Mole Rat explores the taboo against nakedness through the story of a naked mole rat who wears clothes. So this is like a book or something. This is a children's book? No, this is something that happened. <laughs> this is a true story. <laughs> it's nonfiction. It's nonfiction. This is a morality story to teach morality to children. About wearing clothes? It's like a philosophical discussion. Like the one we're having. Like the one we're so we're we're basically doing it for them for free. <laughs> so the the top line here are guidelines for philosophical discussion. The strength of this story as a prompt for a philosophical discussion is the fun way it takes something we take for granted, wearing clothes, and turns it into a social taboo. Wow. I would argue that it's already a social taboo in many ways. The fact that you're dressing up a Nicomora. Wearing clothes? Well, I, I think if if I was not wearing clothes, that would definitely be a social taboo. We're summing up Kill La Kill. Yeah. <laughs> this is the story. Aww, this is the plot of Kill You accidentally reinvented Kill La Kill. I accidentally Spoilers. reinvented Kill La Kill. It's Kill La Kill. <laughs> we figured it out. We got there. Jacob, are any of the potential middle morph characters Kill La Kill characters? No. Damn. Why not? I s- simply wasn't thinking about it. That's one for the audience. If you want to do a middle morph between like SpongeBob and Gamaguri, <laughs> that, that's on you. Wow. If you want to do that, that's on you, and we're not responsible. Yeah, if you want to do that, how interesting. <laughs> <laughs> really says a lot about you. Yeah. They're both sort of rectangular shaped characters. Here's okay. I'm going back to Naked Mole Rats for a second. Naturally. Because here, here's a bump in the road. Naked Mole Rats, according to the Smithsonian National Zoo, are not completely hairless. What? Damn. They got like little peach fuzz. They got sensory whiskers on their face and on their tails. And they have hairs between their toes. <laughs> Good for them. 
<laughs> a little between the toe hairs. Well, that, that's like saying that because I have hair on my head, and if I had like hair on my ass, <laughs> that I'm not naked. Like if I walked outside with no clothes, and I'm like, technically, I'm not naked. Look, <laughs> but we don't this- <laughs> we don't count hair as clothes. But right? this brings us back to our 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 philosophy discussion of you know naked versus bald. Right. That's why I'm bringing it up. Yeah. This is the deepest episode we've ever done. This is really yeah. touching on some stuff. This has been one big <laughs> thought experiment. Did somebody say thought experiment? <laughs> They're going to come out of this one changed. Yeah. They're going to be like, wow, I'm really thinking now. So imagine you've never seen a naked mole rat before. Okay. okay. Are we doing a thought experiment? Yeah, thought experiment. Okay. You've never seen a naked mole rat before. Okay. And then you saw it. Ah, what yeah. the hell is that? That's cra- yeah. I, I'm remembering the first time I saw a naked mole rat, and it was very much just like, "What the?" Yeah, I and have then- a question. I have a question about yes. the thought experiment. Yes, Karina. In Kim Possible, in yes. this universe, right? Who is Ron Stoppable's pet? If- Ron. What? <laughs> what? Ron. Ron is his own pet. Ron is yeah. his own pet. Is it wait? Yo, that's weird. <laughs> it's just him again. Wait, is is he his own pet, but he's one person, or is there another Ron? No, he is he is his own person. Wait. He is one. Words. Ron. <laughs> so there's one Ron. <laughs> but he is his own pet. Uh, yeah. yeah. Every okay. time he walks by a mirror. Oh, He's like, my pet's there. Yeah. It's like BMO and football. That would have put people <laughs> off, I think, of the, the show. Yeah, time. I don't like that version of the show. Every time they saw Kim, they were like, oh, cool, it's Kim. And then every time they saw Ron, they were like, I feel a little complicated about this. Why is it's like, here? I don't know why he keeps doing this. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about him. I don't know what it means when he looks in the mirror and says, there's my pet. Yeah, <laughs> really, really takes me out of the episode. <laughs> All right, so since that was solved, so um, yeah, we're still doing the thought experiment. Yeah. yeah, so you've never seen a naked mole rat before, and you you are a scientist. Yeah, and uh-huh. you have to name the naked mole rat. <laughs> Bull mim. We're in the middle of a thought experiment, Nathan. I'm sorry. I so what really what like would we name it? I would, yeah, what name, would name it finger it? mouse because it kind of looks like a thumb. I would name it L- Lil Tender because it kind of looks like a raw chicken tender. <laughs> I would name it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> How do you write that? Uh. Uh. Ugh. Yeah. How do you spell that? U H H. U H H H U G H H H H. All right, I'm gonna write to the Smithsonian and let them. Know. <laughs> We've changed it. Yeah. Hey, a suggestion for you, Smithsonian. Pick from these three names: Finger Mouse, Lil Tender, and uh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, yeah. I think Finger Mouse is probably the the best of the three. I've been robbed. I like. I agree. Whoever came up with it is a genius. This is garbage. Anyway, it's rigged. I hate. I don't hate this. It's cute. This is cute. Bull mim. I don't know about it, but I don't hate it. So I'll consider my work here done. You did it. (laughs) I like that they both sort of have little little bags. Yeah. There's a lot of things that work. Yeah. They got similar outfits. Uh, the, the the hair turns into the weird shape of the head. Yeah, yeah. it does. Sure. Yeah, nice work, Karina. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that means we got one more to see, and it's Julia. And it's a doozy. Julia, I want to give you some characters, please. Give me some characters, please. What if I gave you number three? Lion-O. That's Lion-O. What is this? That's his little uh, sword holster. Oh. It's like a- That's a caramel apple. I thought it was his sack. His sword holster <laughs> is like is a claw, a big claw. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, continue. <laughs> and then have we done number five yet for the right? 
I made a weird noise and it peaked my mic so bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was the right noise to make. It's the only possible noise. <laughs> All right, People we're gonna draw been... Boss Baby. Julia's just gonna be drawing like a Family Guy cutaway. Like, <laughs> wow, this is this is crazier than that time Stewie was Lion-O. <laughs> uh, uh, the power of Grayskull or whatever. That's that's He Man. I don't know. That Nathan, you did it. Nathan, wow. you wrote a whole episode of Family Guy right that there. That was a whole episode <laughs> of Family Guy. This is uh, this is good already. This shape. Yeah, uh, oh. I have Thundara. Give me sight beyond sight. That's that's the line. Actually, <laughs> I get the shows confused because. Damn. I'm a baby. Nathan is spilling all of his spaghetti right now. <laughs> Are you a writer for Family Guy? Yeah. Are you Seth? This is my audition to be the new Seth. <laughs> <laughs> new Seth. <laughs> You'll have to change your name. Yeah, Seth and. <laughs> Seth and McYaffe. Seth and McYaffe. Oh, Julia. This is such a strong shape to start. It looks like a hairy head that's been thrown really fast. Like it's flying to the Good. left. This is a Goku's cloud. <laughs> it's Goku's Nimbus cloud. Oh. <laughs> Where's this character in Boss Baby? Yeah. This is like Stewie Griffin at the ICP show. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, those are his little hairs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm. It's. Yeah. I'm understanding everything. (laughs) (laughs) Oh no. A little half smile. He's got that a radio half rebel smile. smile. <laughs> <laughs> it is the radio rebel smile. <laughs> I'm radio rebel. No, I'm radio rebel. And I'm Lion O. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just looks at Lion O. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I wasn't allowed to be an extra in that movie. <laughs> I kept messing up the shot. <laughs> I want to know about the people that made Thundercats. What about them? What do you want to know about them? There's yeah. just something so indulgent about the Thundercats designs that you know that the person that designed them was like loving it. Yeah, everyone should strive for that kind of indulgence in their art. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. there's, I respect it because, like, I see Lion-O and I'm like, you don't design Lion-O unless this was, like, in your heart of yeah. hearts. Yeah. This was, like, a part of you. And you were like, I want to design. Because look at the the anatomy they had to learn in order to get a cat this strong. <laughs> <laughs> they just spent their whole lives thinking about strong cats. Yeah. Like, someday. When they were when they were still a student, they could only draw regular cats, but they were like, I want it to be stronger. It's why does it look so weak? <laughs> Their professors kept being like, Stop making the cats strong. <laughs> I won't stop. You're drawing human anatomy or you're drawing a cat. You can't combine them both. But what if I did? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show all of you. Here's a question I have. What uh-huh. what came first, this or the Broadway play Cats? Because I'm getting similar vibes from them. That's a good <laughs> question. <laughs> I'm going to look up the info. I want to say Cats? Because one had to be a fan of the other. Well, it has to specifically be the version that had costuming that looked similar to this. Right. Because Cats premiered in 1981. And Thundercats came out in 1985. There we go. I think we're seeing a clear connection here. Mm. I think whoever made Thundercats saw Cats and was like, these cats are pathetically weak. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I like like the fact (laughs) that they look like people. Yeah, but that's they're far too weak. They need more muscle and a little ab window in those outfits, please. Yeah. They spend too much time 
singing and dancing, not enough time fighting a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Andrew Lloyd Webber, I have some constructive criticism for you. Can you add a song where they fight a mummy and are really strong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dude who made Thundercats was born in 1922. Wow. It says that his occupation was inventor. And he invented the he Thundercats. He invented Thundercats. <laughs> what else Wait, did so he invent? It doesn't say. It just said he has several patents to his name. Good for him. Patents? <laughs> the patents Cat are strong cat. <laughs> Wait, so if he was born in 1922 and Thundercats came out in 1985, how old was he when he made these strong cats? There's no way to know. There's no He's way at to the know. age when he stops giving a <laughs> shit about societal pressures. Everyone should stop caring about societal pressures sooner and just make your characters sexy all the time. He was 63, 63 years old. Good for him. Never I'm too saying, late to start. <laughs> no, listen that's, to me. Listen to me, everyone. What? That's like if Julia's dad <laughs> okay. made Thundercats today. My like, dad ain't 63, but yeah, close. But he's like in his 60s, right? It's, it's he's, like- He's 60. Yeah, imagine if he <laughs> suddenly made Thundercats. Uh, that's true. And it became like a smash hit television program. That would be impressive because the only thing my dad can really draw is a frog and a rabbit. Aww. But how are strong. they hot? <laughs> yeah, how strong and hot? Ab window? Debatable. You know, I'll ask him. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about this. I feel like, what am I going to do when I'm 63? I hope I do something like this. Just draw your OCs hot. Yeah. Well, you've already been doing that your whole life, Karina. Yeah, and I'm going to keep doing it well past when I die. <laughs> well I feel passed. like at this point they've made every animal strong for a show. I don't know. There's rat? a lot of animals. Okay. Naked mole rat. Naked mole rat, but yeah. strong. Wait, I think they did that in Kim Possible a Sitch in Time. He got strong for that? Yeah. <laughs> he had a personal trainer and everything. <laughs> yeah. Quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do? I sometimes get ads for the workout that the naked mole rat. <laughs> Rufus's worst sitch yeah. time workout. Do you want to look as hot as Rufus looked? <laughs> sitch in time. Yes. These are the secrets that Hollywood doesn't want you to know. <laughs> Dig through the dirt. <laughs> Dig through the dirt a lot. Make so many little tunnels, and don't forget about your many hairs between your toes. Yeah. Keep them close. I want to talk about the power of this pose that Julia has generated. <laughs> I do love that he's like kind of turning. <laughs> yeah. The butt like going or no, that's not the butt. That's like his very strong thigh. Oh. It's kind of like Stewie's torso line, but it makes up the thigh. Where's his sack? That got morphed out. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the yeah. sword sack is getting morphed out. Yeah, he needs his sack to live. But man, look at this short king. <laughs> it truly is short king summer. Good for him. We love a compact king. So dense. So dense. <laughs> you couldn't push this guy over. It's impossible. Uh -oh. Kim Possible. It's Kim Possible. <laughs> Finally, the Kim Possible episode. <laughs> uh, I think this is. I think this is him. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Ah, oh, geez, Stewie, you're so freaking strong. <laughs> <laughs> and a cat. <laughs> well, I did something. You I sure did, didn't you? The face is really reminding me of someone very specific, and I can't. It's going to bother me Jackson so much. Jackson Galaxy. No. Uh, the bad guy from Mad Max. I don't the, remember. Morton oh, Joe. No. It does kind of look like a Morton Joe. The clown from Hunter Hunter. <laughs> it's Hisoka. Sort of a wide Hisoka. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? You're not wrong. No, Gordon I'm thinking of some like- Ramsey. Detective character with a five o'clock shadow. Constantine. No, we're not going to get there. It's okay. Columbo. Black Sad. 
if Julia's thought about it before this goes up, we'll flash up who she was thinking of. <laughs> yeah. And if you see nothing, know that we never found an answer. Yeah. yeah. You can leave it in the comments. One of life's greatest mysteries. Unsolved. If you want to help us solve this mystery, though. Castiel. Mm -hmm. Is it Castiel? Is it Castiel? He does kind of look like Castiel. <laughs> Kind of does. <laughs> <But> no. <laughs> if Castiel looked like this, he would not have gotten sent to super hell. <laughs> they he would have been have. sent to super duper hell. <laughs> Good luck pushing him over there. You can't push this guy over. <laughs> He's too <laughs> compact. He's so stout. If you think that it is Castiel, leave yeah. a like and a comment and a subscribe <laughs> on this video. <laughs> if you think it's Jackson Galaxy, go to the Patreon and subscribe there. If you think it's Wide Hisoka, <laughs> watch us on Twitch Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you think it's Gordon Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay, <laughs> you, that's the one you got to go to our store about. Yeah. yeah. And buy some merch there. Yeah. And then leave us a note. In your purchase. And and yeah. also, if you don't think it's any of those, you can still do all those things. You're allowed. Yeah. yeah. And write whoever you think I'm thinking of in the comments so that I can read every single comment and look them up. Oh, you know people have already done that by this point oh, yeah. in the outro. Yeah, it's already for there. sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next time. We're sorry. 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 Julia. Ending recording. Did you say sorry? <laughs> Julia did not apologize. No. Julia has nothing to be sorry for. <laughs> <laughs> you can still do it. The audio's going. Yes, girl. Girl boss. Give us a sorry. Sorry. <laughs>